Hi friends, welcome back to Gyan Vigyan Foundation's Ayer Academy and you are watching my YouTube channel Gyan Vigyan Foundation. So friends, today in this video, we shall try to understand one another subtopic in physics. That is about the fundamental units. Now friends, let us try to understand about the fundamental units. The units used to measure fundamental quantities are called as fundamental units. The fundamental quantities, their units and symbol are as shown in the figure given below. That is, let us see number one, that is about the fundamental quantities, which is called as the length. Its SI unit is meter and the symbol is M. Similarly, the next fundamental quantity is mass, whose SI unit is kilogram and the symbol is kg. Then thirdly, it's about time, which is having its SI unit in seconds and the symbol is S. Similarly, we can see about the temperature. It is having the SI unit as Kelvin and the symbol is capital K. And now let us see about the electric current. It is also having the SI unit as Ampere and the symbol as capital A. Similarly, we can see about the luminous intensity having its SI unit as candela and a symbol as CD. Then the last one is about the amount of substance which is having the SI unit as mole and the symbol as MOL, mole. Now friends, let us try to understand about the next term that is about the derived quantities and units. In physics, we come across a large number of quantities like resistance, momentum, conductivity, speed, etc., which depend upon some or all of the seven fundamental quantities as discussed earlier and can be expressed in terms of these quantities. These are called as derived quantities and their units which can be expressed in terms of fundamental units which are also called as derived units. For example, the SI unit of velocity is equal to unit of displacement divided by unit of time whose unit can also be written as meters per second or meters into second to the power minus one. Similarly, the unit of momentum is equal to unit of mass into unit of velocity. And it can also be written as kg meter per second or kg meter second to the power minus one. All the above two units are called as the derived units. Now friends, let us try to understand about the errors in measurements. Faulty measurements of physical quantity can lead to errors. The errors are broadly divided into the following two categories. That is number one is about the systematic errors. Again, which is divided into three types. The first one is instrumental error and the second one is error due to imperfection in experimental technique. And the third one is personal error. Then the second type of category is about the random errors. So friends, by now you might have understood my subtopic in physics and if you have understood my subtopic in physics, then please subscribe, like and comment my 
channel